In this tutorial, we will learn how to upload images to Firebase and retrieve them in real time to display in the app. To start this tutorial, please get the starter code from the first link in the description. So let's create a Firebase project. Make sure to give your project a unique name. I also want to disable the crash analytics and then hit create project. We also need to create Android and iOS apps. We can create each app individually, but it's a lot easier to create a Flutter app using Firebase CLI. Make sure you have Firebase CLI installed before we can continue. First of all, run this command in a terminal to activate Firebase CLI. And then, inside your project root directory terminal, run this command to register our apps. At this step, select the platforms you want to support using a space and then hit enter. Now we are done registering our apps. To store data inside the Firebase, you need the following dependencies that is Firebase Core, Platform Store and Firebase Storage. So let's now hit save and let the dependencies be added to your project. After adding the dependencies inside the pubspec.yaml, please make sure to initialize the app inside the main.dart and to avoid any errors, Inside the Minisika version that is default 16, we're gonna use a Minisika version of 21 to be able to use Firestore packages inside our application. Let's activate Firebase Storage. First click on Get Started. Start in Test Mode. Then choose your preferred location and click on the Done button. Now we need to activate Cloud Firestore. For that, click on Create Database. Start in Test Mode. Then choose your preferred location and click on enable. So let's create a method for storing image inside the Firestore. This method accepts a file that's called image and it is asynchronous. We put everything inside try and catch and if anything goes wrong, we just print the error and return null. First of all, create an instance of the Firebase storage and then we create a name for our image. We then create a reference for our image to put inside the Firestore. This is the name of the bucket and this is the name of the image. Using that reference, we put our image using the put file method inside the Firebase storage. Right now we have stored our file inside Firebase storage. But to display the image, we need to get the download URL. So let's get the download URL using the storage reference. Now we need to create an instance of the Firestore. And then we need to put our download URL inside our Firestore. So inside the Firestore, we, go we create a collection called images. And inside that, we save our map that has an ID and also a URL. And lastly, we return our download URL. And now let's call this method inside our icon button. To retrieve images from Firestore in real time, use a stream builder, write a query to get images from images collection. Then we need to check connection state. If you are loading, display a loading indicator. Otherwise, we will display a grid view. Inside item builder, First get your data and then the image URL. Lastly, we return a network image. Now that we have created our image view, let's also display it under this image. For that purpose, I wrap my image with an expanded and a flex of two. And under this image, I will display my image view. Right now we have no images saved to the Firestore. So to test it out, I wanna click in this button and the image should appear here because we are retrieving images in real time so let's test it out and as you see our image appear here i also want to add another image to firestore so let's save it and our image appears in real time